All right. Uh, on the talking point this evening, I'm joined by Rekha Agarwal, Supreme Court lawyer and activist. Ajay Umat is a senior journalist. Dr. Piyush Joshi, political analyst. Uh, and here in our studios, we have Akhil Khan, uh, political analyst. Rekha Agarwal, let me start with you first. Uh, the contention by the Aam Party and by Gopal Italia is that these are all old videos. BJP is raking them up uh, because it's afraid of uh, the AAP's popularity in Gujarat. Does that have any either legal or even for that matter political uh, merit? Because once in public life, you are in public life. What you said 10 years ago or 15 years ago does not matter. What you said in public life is what matters. And if you've said, and we've all heard the rather reprehensible comments that he has made, uh, does this stand the test either of law or of uh, decency in public life? Uh, this argument that these are old videos and uh, that the other party has just got them out in public uh, holds no water at all. And I think that uh, this is a very baseless, uh, you know, defense that is being given by the other side. Uh, no doubt in our country, we have got uh, the fundamental right of freedom of speech and expression. But your freedom of speech and expression cannot be used to such an extent yeah. that you hurt the freedom of uh, the fundamental right of another citizen. That is the right to live with dignity. So these kind of comments which have been made by this particular person of a particular party, political party, these, the fact remains whether he belongs to political party or not, he is a citizen of India and he has made absolutely unpardonable, illegal comments uh, against another Indian citizen as well as the person's mother. So these are offenses which are punishable under the Indian Penal Code. They amount to defaming the other person and they amount to encroaching upon the fundamental rights of another Indian okay. citizen. So I think that you know such kind of arguments uh, have got no merit in the court. There is no law of limitation which applies. Even if you committed a crime 10 years ago, the limitation is, will be continuing because the fact that you're not denying that these statements have not been made by you, the, uh, the fact that these uh, things have come out in public, these amount to slandering the reputation of citizen of, of India. An, another and individual. I think that okay. law is going to be taken So let task. me ask Sanju Varma, uh, the other argument that the Yamadmi party is putting forth is while, yes, these uh, comments are reprehensible and Mr. Italia has apologized for these comments, uh, one argument is it's old, you're raking this up because you're afraid of AAP's popularity. The second argument they're making is that this is now uh, a, a, a big toast as far as uh, they are concerned on the partidars of Gujarat. The partidars anyway are upset with the BJP even last time because of the partidar agitation, the reservation issue. And this time too, they are upset and this is only going to make them more upset. Please respond. You know, Zaka... Uh, I think the earlier panelist uh, summed up the entire issue pretty well. And uh, taking a cue from there, I have this to say. A, whether the video is old or new does not matter. B, as you rightly said in your introduction, uh, there has to be a certain modicum of dignity and restraint in public life. And point number three, and most importantly, uh, Gopal Italia is a repeat and a habitual offender. You know, sometimes uh, in the heat of the moment, in, at the spur of the moment, uh, people say things which they don't necessarily mean or imply. But yeah. Gopal Italia is a person who is prone to doing this again and again and again. And I just have one thing to say. You know, fine, uh, you want to contest Gujarat. You're more than welcome. It's a democracy. Uh, the more, the merrier. But not only the prime minister... But the fact that Gopal Italia had the shameless and brazen audacity and impunity to drag the Prime Minister's almost 100-year-old mother. I mean, that is so, so reprehensible and completely not acceptable by any stretch of imagination. You can come and give hundreds of arguments. It does not hold water. And I will just end by saying one thing. Mm. Aam Party leaders, be it Arvind Kejriwal or Gopal Italia or Manish Sisodia or even Raghav Chadda for that matter. One thing these people keep reiterating is, oh, BJP hum logo se dar gai. So I want to tell Aam Aadmi Party, in the recently held elections in April 2022, out of five states, BJP won four out of five with a strike rate of 8080%. Aam Aadmi Party contested four out of five states barring Manipur. And they won only Punjab, which means Aam Admi Party strike rate was a measly 25%. Jp Are you hallucinating or are you living in your Nala land? Okay. Now that strike rates uh, you know, endorse uh, the kind of language that has been going on. But just to 
to a point that BJP does not need to be scared of Aam Aadmi Party because Aam Aadmi Party has a lot of ground to cover before it can even compare it okay. to BJP. Okay, let me ask uh, Akhil Khan. Uh, so then what explains why the Aam Aadmi Party has not either taken action against uh, uh, Mr. Italia or is, is it not being seen to be taking that action? Because at the end of the day, Mr. Italia is not some small-time office bearer. He is the head of the Aam Aadmi Party's Gujarat unit. And the party is neither censuring him, nor asking him to apologize, nor is it taking any action visibly so against Mr. Gopal Italia. Mr. Gopal Italia uttered all these words long, long back when he was not even the member of Aam Aadmi Party. How you can make responsible Aam Aadmi Party for his utterings? I don't understand that. And moreover, listen, sir. What Mr. Prime Minister Modi has said about uh, Sonia Gandhi, Congress ki vidwa, and what he said about Mamta Banerji, in what tone he has been using this tone against the opposition leaders, not now, since very, very long. And this kind of utterings, you see, I have, I have been listening for many, many years. I have seen video. Uh, Oh, I, would, I, I cannot say what kind of uh, exact words were there, but it was really 10 times uh, worse than this kind no, of no, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, and, on, uh, your, on your Congress first point, also, no, no, sir, sir, on your first point, you just heard the Supreme Court lawyer saying there is no such thing as the statute of limitations. Whether you made it 10 years ago, whether you made it 15 years ago, is it must be logic. irrelevant. There because, must be logic. No, no, because the law does no, not no. have... Limitation. Law, law, law everywhere. You cannot apply law everywhere. Here you cannot apply law. You have to use logic. Your 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 your, your brain. Uh, what ten years uh, back was told. Now why? Why now? The million dollar question is why now? Because Modi ji and Bhajpa losing Gujarat election. That's the reason. And uh, RSS also has given their reports that uh, it is very disturbing condition uh, on the grounds in Gujarat. And uh, all those channels Mr. and the social Khan, media, they I have already. No, no, Mr. Khan, just a minute. What, all what, those what social media are. No, no, hang on, hang on. That no Mr. One, Modi, no one knows. No one knows. No, no, you, you, are, you are making a political point. You are free to make that political point. I have not seen any evidence of that either on the ground or in the public domain. Let me ask. Let me ask Ajay Umar. He's a senior journalist. He has his ear on the ground in you, Gujarat. You, you, One you, second. You, no, you I'm going to Ajay Umar. Please, Mr. Khan, uh, Mr. Modi Mr. Khan, Mr. Mr. Khan, Khan, Mr. Khan, Khan, Mr. Khan, Mr. Khan, yield. Is yield. Not, it, please yield. It right? Please yield. Ajay Umar, you are the journalist with the ear on the ground. I'm asking you, this whole controversy over Gopal Italia, over the last three, four days, the BJP every day is bringing out a new video of how he has abused first the Prime Minister, then the Prime Minister's mother. Today, I think there was a video about the Home Minister. The point is, is this having any impact on ground? Is this going to affect the Aam Aadmi Party's uh, perceived chances in Gujarat? Or is the Aam Aadmi Party just creating some kind of a hawa that it will take the place of the Congress as the main opposition party in Gujarat, if not, you know, seriously challenge the BJP? Ajay Umar. Look, a wrong is a wrong is a wrong, number one. Number two, internet does not give you right to be forgotten. So whatever Gopal Italia has done in past is a wrong and, uh, and I, I think because of political pressure, he has said sorry. But, uh, you know, he is a habitual offender and this is not for the first time that, you know, he has abused prime minister or his mother. I remember once, you know, he has uh, thrown chapel to the home minister of Gujarat uh, outside assembly. He was an ordinary constable serving on road and he has thrown uh, uh, juta on, on, on home minister. Once he has abused uh, deputy chief minister of Gujarat, Nitin Bhai Patel, on telephone that you don't know how to, when he was working as clerk in revenue department. So he, this is his temperament. This is his nature. But when you are in public life, when you are contesting elections or when you have taken a plunge as political party and he was a very ambitious person, since long. So I think that this is unpardonable. He should not have done it. And Aam Aadmi Party should not defend him. A wrong is a wrong is a wrong. Number okay. one. Number two, now he is taking, uh, you know, uh, trying to play a sympathy card that because he is from Patidar community or Patil, I think people in Gujarat take such things with pinch of salt. 
no partidar would believe what gopal italia is saying or not support what gopal italia is saying everybody respects prime minister of india narendra bhai modi he is a very respectable leader in gujarat and 